Mr. Speaker, I thank you and I recognize the pressure of time. Mr. Speaker, I am here because of the kindness of the people of Migori County who sent me here that at such a, such, a, such a time, Mr. Speaker, I need to be cautious of the Article 125 of the Constitution, which requires us as a House that in matters such as this, Mr. Speaker, we must behave like judges because under Article 125 of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, we sit as a High Court, Mr. Speaker. And in the words of Socrates, Mr. Speaker, a judge is required to listen courteously, to answer wisely, to consider soberly, and definitely to decide impartially, Mr. Speaker. There were 11 charges, Mr. Speaker, that were put before us, Mr. Speaker, and they were put to us in the context of Constitution 2010, Mr. Speaker. The Constitution 2010, Mr. Speaker, came in the backdrop of two very important historic moments in this country, Mr. Speaker, that I must re reflect on, Mr. Speaker. Number one, Mr. Speaker, is the uh, section paper, paper number 10 of 1965, Mr. Speaker. That section paper number 10, Mr. Speaker, divided this country into those who are important and those who are not important. The language that was used then, Mr. Speaker, was the idea of Northern Frontier District, Mr. Speaker, that then discriminated upon some communities, Mr. Speaker, against others, Mr. Speaker. Number two, Mr. Speaker, in 2007, Mr. Speaker, this country was divided on the basis of ethnicity, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, I rise to support this motion if my grounds, Mr. Speaker, after listening, listening uh, courteously and considering soberly, Mr. Speaker, are more than half of the charges, Mr. Speaker. And I find that ground one, five, and six on the utterances of the, depu of the, deputies, of the deputy president, Mr. Speaker, violate Article 91 of the Constitution and Article 232 of the Constitution. We cannot have political parties, Mr. Speaker, that are founded on the basis of, the, of ethnicity and dividing national resources on the basis of ethnicity, Mr. Speaker. Number two, Mr. Speaker, that would make the ground, ground number four, which actually also happened to be reason number four for why the deputy president must leave office, Mr. Speaker, at the violation of Article 160 of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker, of undermining the, the, the judiciary, Mr. Speaker. There was an eminent threat to the judges there, Mr. Speaker. You realize that in my judgment, Mr. Speaker, I excuse ground number eight on the basis of the fact that there was no uh, uh, proof that there was, there was a petition that was not, uh, was not filed, Mr. Speaker. But on the threat, Mr. Speaker, I think that the Deputy uh, President stands in pitch, Mr. Speaker. Ground number nine, Mr. Speaker, on NIS, Mr. Speaker, we know that this country has faced serious terror attacks, Mr. Speaker. And the moment the Deputy uh, President, Mr. Speaker, showcases the secrecy of uh, deficiency in our security infrastructure, Mr. Speaker, and you know that under Article 240, he has platforms to be able to express himself, Mr. Speaker. It is a violation of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker. Lastly, on ground number 11, Mr. Speaker, on bullying KEMSA official, Mr. Speaker, it has been proven here beyond reasonable doubt, Mr. Speaker, that the Deputy President is not a member of the company that was listed. He's not an employee of that company, Mr. Speaker, yet he goes ahead and makes calls on behalf of that company, Mr. Speaker. That is impeachable. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, I must call the counsel of the deputy, uh, uh, the deputy president to order, Mr. Speaker, especially counsel Paul Muite, Mr. Speaker, for actually practicing law in this seat, Mr. Speaker. You cannot say that at the level of the deputy president, Mr. Speaker, he was okay in this house the entire time, and then when asked, you are saying you cannot be able to account for, for his whereabouts, and you know that the deputy president, Mr. Speaker, also must be able to be taken care of by the DG of Health, Mr. Speaker, who could have given us a document to be able to substantiate whether the, the, the deputy president is sick, Mr. Speaker. While I say sorry to the deputy president, Mr. Speaker, I think this kind of deceit should also be tantamount to further impeachment, Mr. Speaker. I do therefore say that on ground two, three, seven, eight, and ten, they are not substantiated. But on ground one, five, six, four, nine, and eleven, Mr. Speaker, this is a fight against tribalism that is done by one individual 